this is Steve Stein from Guitar Zoom. I just want to say thank you again uh, for all the comments and the dialogue, the discussions that have been about the, the idea of phrasing. I'm really, really excited for uh, this video to come out so you can really learn how to get in there and start changing up the way that you're viewing your fretboard and the way that you're viewing uh, just your overall movement on the guitar. It's so important to learn how to do this. For me, it's not about whether you're fast or whether you're, you know, blues or rock. It's about the effectiveness about what it is that you're playing, making all the notes count. And so today what I want to do is I want to go back and, and talk about the third element, which is creating a secondary phrase to make things more interesting. So what I did in this chord progression, I started off with the same phrase that we had last time, which was this one. <laughs> and how those notes were functioning over G, D, E minor, and C chords, how we could visualize that anywhere on our fretboard, but we could take and plot points off of each chord and then connect the dots, okay? So the second thing we did was we start learning how to make it more real by adding some human elements and breaking out of the, the standard sized boxes in our head. So we start on different beats or we make some boxes longer or shorter, things like that, to try and make it sound more realistic. <laughs> Okay, adding in more of my personal elements of the way I would normally play. And that's what I want you to really explore. Well, now what we're going to do is we're going to create a new melody, but this time, instead of plotting points, I'm creating a melody that is functional by repetition. This is really, really important. So my, my melody now is going... <laughs> I can do whatever I want. So when the G chord is being played, I'm going. And then when the D chord or the C chord or the E minor chord is being played, I'm playing the same thing. You see? So now I'm creating repetition with melody, but I'm changing up what I was doing before. So instead of plotting points, I'm forcing a melody over the top of each one so it's recognizable. It's memorable. Right? And of course, you hear this all the time with singers. Okay? So what I want to do is I'm going to start it all over again. I'm going to start the jam track, and I want you to play along with me. So what I'm doing is playing four, five, seven. Four, five, seven on the third string. Okay? So let me start that jam track, and let's play together. So here we could go like this. Great. Now you can take this to any level you choose by adding in the other elements that we've been talking about. You can add in some scale elements, right? You might be going. You see, I could add in other notes. That element right there is what I refer to as meandering. I'm not, those notes really aren't that important. They're just helping me connect from point A to point B, but it makes it more interesting. Okay, now what else could I do with this? Well, I could start adding some bending, right? I could go. You know, any kind of thing that I want to make it more unique to me. I don't have to force anything. That's the trick, right? We are always thinking as guitar players, and probably just people in general, we're always thinking like we have to do everything that everybody else is doing. And as guitar players, we have to add every single thing that we've ever practiced ever in a 20 second solo. And we have to stop learning, we have to stop thinking about soloing that way. What I want you to do is I want you to focus on the ability of creating something that is memorable. It feels real, it feels authentic. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take that idea and you're going to bring it up to the next level by adding in all of these other elements that we're going to be talking about in, um, you know, learning to phrase in 14 days. In that video, we're going to start putting all of this stuff together to keep building it and building it and building it, but still keeping it comfortable to where you are in your playing. 
So six months from now, you're still going to be able to use this stuff. You're just going to be using it at a different level because you're going to know more. You're going to have learned more ideas. You're going to be able to see your fretboard differently, all kinds of different things. But tomorrow, you're still going to be able to use these in a very effective way. Okay. So it's really important, you know, it, I, I want to hear your comments about everything that we're talking about here. Any questions you might have, um, you know, let me know what's going on. And just please keep in mind that, you know, we're going to be releasing this at a, at a special price to begin with, but that only, that only exists for a limited time. Um, but I want you to get a hold of me with any questions that you might have, any comments that you've got. Try out the jam tracks. Try out these techniques that we're using um, and see what you can come up with. So take care, keep practicing, and have a wonderful day.